After returning to the UK for the Queen's funeral, the Sussexes appeared in a public walkabout at Windsor Castle with the Prince and Princess of Wales to greet well-wishers who'd gathered to pay their respects to the late Queen. Meghan Markle reportedly found the walkabout Windsor Castle alongside the Prince and Princess of Wales last year very difficult. According to a new royal book, titled Our King Charles III by royal reporter Robert Jobson, Meghan found the day testing for several reasons including being away from her children, Archie and Lilliver. Mr. Jobson writes, that's the longest they've ever been away from the kids. And then on top of it, knowing what's being said out there, it was very difficult. It was hard to be away from Archie and Lilliver, who they're frequently away from, who some questions even exist. It also comes after previous claims that Catherine found the walkabout one of the hardest things she ever had to do due to ill feelings between the senior poor couples and the Princess of Wales is said to have struggled with the time spent together. The Mirror reports some royal fans are claiming that Harry was wearing a mic at the Queen's funeral after a clip of him adjusting his Netflix mic surfaced online. While the walkabout may have come across as a symbol of unity within the royal family following the death of the Queen, Mr. Jobson claimed that sources told him that wasn't the case. He said that such togetherness was an illusion and he added, Catherine later admitted to a senior royal that such was the ill feeling between the two couples. The joint walkabout was one of the hardest things she'd ever had to do. Catherine shot icy glares at Meghan Markle to freeze her out, according to a body language expert. Quite unlike the confident Meghan we know, Meghan appeared ill at ease during this encounter, which is not surprising given the recent criticism that she's faced. Katie Alloys all told Australia's Seven News. She pointed out that Prince William appeared to make an effort with his sister-in-law but claimed that the Princess of Wales' stares made it look as though she was trying to freeze out Markle. On numerous occasions, Meghan looked over at Kate, however, the gaze wasn't reciprocated, adding that Middleton appeared to look through Markle instead. Loisa believes Catherine was successful in seeming intent to make Markle uncomfortable. Meghan's hand lifted hesitantly as if to wave, but stopped midair, rather than pausing to adjust her hair. Her head and gaze lowered before looking up and giving a quick wave, her arm returning to rest in front of a body in a partial arm barrier, the body language expert explained. Catherine put Megan right in a place, and it was glorious to finally see William and Catherine had taken so much abuse from these leeches. They behaved with complete decorum and class, always put in duty first. Despite the mud that the marriage and family had been dragged through, they remain a close and strong unit. The world's strength is palpable, and the hackles will never be able to take that from William and Catherine. It comes as relations between the sexes and the firm remain. It's an all-time low. Worsened by Prince Harry's explosive memoir Spare, which was released at the start of the year. There the Duke repeatedly aimed at senior members of the royal family, and one such claim included alleging that Prince William physically attacked him on one occasion. This was also pre-stated by Harry and Meghan's Netflix documentary, which aired a month earlier, where Harry also criticized King Charles as his father and took a swipe at other males of the firm for how they married. 